Okay, so collets are a really important feature of Camtasia. If you've ever used them, they're super handy for pointing out something on the screen. So in this case, I've got a uh, callout and it's just pointing at something with its tail. But we can make this one step better with a video callout. Okay, now that we've got Finder open, let's direct your attention to the upper left hand of the menu bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make a video callout such as this in Camtasia 2020. We'll animate that tail, make the call out a track mat, and we'll get her done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete uh, everything. We're gonna build this from scratch here. Go back to the, doing these two clips, we're gonna delete them. And I'm gonna come up to my media bin. I'm gonna grab a piece of footage here. It needs to be trimmed up a little bit. I did a few different takes. Uh, so one thing to note about this is that you'll definitely want to leave some headroom around this so you have room for your tail to animate up and be visible or whichever direction, headroom, side room, uh, below room. Uh, make sure you have some space to pull this technique off. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly trim this guy up and we'll get him into position right here. You can see I've just got a screen recording. I did an extend a frame right here uh, just to pull back and give me some uh, breathing room for the video callout that we're gonna build. And uh, right now we've got this 1080p video that's just obscuring everything and that's not what we want. What we wanna do is come over to the annotations tab in the tool bin. And here in the basic uh, section, uh, of the callouts, I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh, one of these guys. I'm going to make him the same length as my video clip, and now we just get to start repositioning this for a little bit of fun. So, um, no right or wrong here. You just want to give yourself some room. I'm going to get that tail uh, up here. We're going to make this a little bit wider. Um, just to give it this kind of look right here. And uh, I don't need this text. I can delete it if I want, but we're just gonna leave it for now because it will not matter. Uh, all right, so let's pop the visibility on, off. All right, that seems uh, pretty good for now. We can tweak it later. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and group these guys. I'm gonna drill into my group. I'm going to apply an alpha track map. And you can see right away that we've got this sort of nice shape going on here. So I'm gonna back out for a second. Um, it's obviously too big. That's not exactly what I wanna have happening and the tail's not in the right position. So let's just start resizing this a little bit. Uh, so we'll come over to our video properties here and we'll set the uh, size of this to maybe 50%. And I'm gonna move it over in the general direction right here. I'm gonna drill back into this group. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna select that tail and get it pointing up at finder. All right, so that still seems right. Click off it. Well, you see the tail's getting clipped a little bit so I'm above the video here with my mat. So I just need to get a little bit below. Okay, yep, that looks pretty good. Scrub through just to make sure we're looking good. Okay. Obviously, it's needed to be trimmed off a little bit more. All right there. I'll take that off. Bam. And, all right. Uh, trim the group, too. All right. So here we are. I've got this little call out. Now let's start to decorate it a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead increase the size of my timeline a little bit here and I'm going to come over to my favorites where I've got the pixelate uh, transition saved. I'm going to drag that pixelate transition down into the middle of this clip so that the both the beginning and the end have the transition applied. Okay you can see now I get that nice pixelate entrance in and pixelate out so 
This is me popping in, giving a little personal touch and pointing out where someone something is on the screen. So it's a real handy technique to keep uh, users engaged and direct their eyes in the right area of the screen. Okay, so um, now the final piece of this is I want that tail to animate. And this is kind of a little known feature of uh, annotations. I've drilled into this group now. I'm on this. I'm going to give it a quick listen just to see where I'm at. Let's direct your attention. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's about where I want to start. So I'm going to zoom in some more. And I am going to go ahead and... Right here, I'm just going to drop an animation. And I'm going to move that tail in to right there. I'll increase the length of my animation to about a second long. And you can see I've already got this roughly in the position that I want it to be. I could tweak it a little bit more if I wanted to at this finishing state. And what I'm going to do right here at the beginning keyframe, I'm going to come up, I'm going to grab that tail, and I'm just going to stuff them back inside of the callout box, right? So now what's going to happen here is... Let's direct your attention to the... We get that animation. And you see I've gone a little bit too far. I'm starting to get some clipping because my mask is now bigger than the video it's masking, so you can't see the tip of it. That's better. All right, I'm back out here. Uh, on the main timeline, zoom back out on the timeline. And now I just get to put a little bit of final polish touch. I can adjust this a little bit more. Maybe I want to get it more on the point of exactly what I'm pointing at. And we'll watch this from beginning to end. Okay, now that we've got Finder open, let's direct your attention to the upper left hand of the menu bar. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, really handy technique. Hope you enjoy.